bringing back some old classic. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, 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 okay. Got the scrambled egg deck. I like it. Let's play some scrambled eggs. Let me see how you built it, first of all. Vengeance, Rekindler, Nidia Catalyst, Chronicler, Gluttony. Oh, this is a very, very um easy to play deck. Here we go. All right. We're up against a very fast deck, unfortunately. What do we run? Brutal Steals times two, and uh, that's about it. An Avalanche. So those are the two cards we need. Brutal Steel and Avalanche. Icefield Archer is really good too, though, so we keep him. Okay. Not a very good card. And you never keep Gluttony. Not versus Aggro. Versus Aggro, Gluttony is a mistake. Hope all is well, G. All is fantastic, man. Thank you for asking. I pass here, I think, because I want to play Icefield Archer next turn. What's going to happen is he's going to play um, uh, Lulu after that. He's going to play Lulu now. I play Freeze on Lulu. This kills my Archer, which I'm going to glimpse. And then we, um, and then we're fine. Like, he's getting no real value out of this. Out of this play, because I'm glimpsing it anyway. All I'm doing is really just denying him a little bit of tempo. So, we get the draw the way we want to. We need to get an Ivy on board, though. That's very important. Gluttony is amazing. Okay. We have a way to win. We've got, we've got winning winning mechanics at the moment. The flash freeze is huge. The heals are huge as well. Do I attack? Of course I do. Um, even Glimpse is good. Um, every time I attack, he's going to block with through and I'm going to Brittle Steal that. This is the best value I'm going to find for this Brittle. Um, kill a 3-1 with Brittle Steal is just amazing. Very happy to see it. Alright, let's just hope that we don't die this turn. I need to save three spell mana next turn. That's extremely important. And, um, oh my god, this, this, this end is insane. So, whatever happens, I need to have Anivia into uh, Gluttony. Super important. Nothing I can do about that. It is what it is. Um, we have to play probably Kindly Tavern Keeper in this. No, I can't, even, I can't even play both. I think Kindly Tavern Keeper is the card I have to play. I think we just gotta take the hit and play uh, Tavern Keeper. Yep, that's it. Because I need um, I need mana for Gluttony to get Rekindler down on board. So I can't uh, I can't go under three spell mana. And there's no two plus two. One catalyst here. Yeah, there is uh there is one catalyst in this deck. I think with how fast the meta is, you really don't need catalysts. I'm a little worried that we didn't find an avalanche yet. This is kind of a pseudo avalanche, it does a lot of work. It kills a lot of stuff. So, I'm happy with this. And this is an amazing draw, because it, it works with Rekindler so well. He's thinking who to save with his uh, help, help me picks. That's what his consideration is right now. He's going to save that, I'm assuming. Oh, he's not. Okay. I'm happy with that. That's pretty good. Okay, nice. Easy attack with Anivia. And I wonder if I ever attack with this. I think I do, because he has nothing to trade with it properly. So, I'm going to attack with it for sure. He's afraid of Vile Feast to block here. Wow, I, I am shocked he's blocking with the Ballistic Bot. Now, unfortunately, I can't do that 2 damage to her. I'm going to pop this now. And uh, we'll, we'll get some nice units on board. So I can, I can play either Chronicler or Rekindler next turn. They're both viable plays. And he lost... Wow, he lost two of his big units. That's a, that's a huge deal. Okay, we're, we're stabilizing slowly. I don't have mana for Harsh Winds, but I have mana for Vengeance if I want it. Ideally, I want to play Chronicler plus another really good top deck. What could that be? Not sure what a good top deck here is. What did he draw? I don't mind losing the egg. I have too many Anivias as it is. Wow, I actually have... Wow! I have Harsh Winds! Okay, change of plans. New plans incoming, boys! Pulling the egg. Uh, okay. That's very good. He's going to pull me in with the whale, I'm assuming. Fantastic. Fan-freaking-tastic. So this is going to live. Now, how do I freeze here? 
On one hand, I don't need to keep Rekindler alive because I can play Rekindler next turn anyway. That's harsh, is it? Okay, maybe now I don't even freeze anymore. Do I still freeze? I can just drop a Rekindler here. I'm going to pass because I think now he pulls differently. I'm going to take more damage to face from this, but I think he's pulling me in with Jinx. Chronicler? I don't like Chronicler. No Harrowing with this deck? No. Which is a little bit weird, but this deck doesn't need to run Harrowing, per se. What a weird game. I don't think I can take more than 6 to face. No, I, I gotta kill Jinx off. If, J if Jinx doesn't die, um, he can level Jinx and have a second win con there. Do I like the egg diet? Yeah, I do. You're gonna I'm aware I'm gonna lose the egg chat. You do realize this is an aggro deck with face burn as well. This is going down to one. He's out of challenger units. This is going down to one. So we're killing his board off. Quite a few of them. This is dead. This is dead. This is dead. If I open attack with Anivia. So I will open attack with Anivia before he can play Lulu's card. That's a very, that's a very weird play. Okay. Now imagine if I didn't block with the egg chat. Imagine if I didn't block with the egg there, what would have happened? Just for one second, imagine that. I have to open attack before he can play health picks on this to keep it alive. Two times get excited. It's possible. It is very possible, yes. Okay, so Jinx is dead. That's a big deal. I will have to... I have a... Anivia is a blocker, basically. Like, this is... Right now, all I'm using Anivia for is blocking. I'm going to be playing Rekindler into Harsh Winds, probably. That's all I'm going for here. I've got three blockers. Is he going to rally? I don't know if... This deck doesn't run rally, does it? All right. Okay. Three blockers. I have Harsh Winds next turn. I have just enough stuff to block with. Yeah, he didn't play Chompers. It's fine. I have just enough blockers to stop everything from dealing damage. Right, yeah. I, I realize he doesn't have Rally Chat. Chill. That's a very good card. Okay. Wow. This guy, this guy is so good at the game. That's insane. I have just enough to survive. Literally just enough to survive. That does nothing. Okay. Wait, why would he pull that in out of everything? What the hell? What? Why would you pull that? Okay, I don't get it. Oh, he's going to try to kill these off. That's fair. That doesn't do anything, though. Like, killing that off does literally nothing. So we pop this. We freeze both of these. And uh, since he's out of temple, we just freeze this as well. He only has one card. If he doesn't have a damage card, we're fine. We have uh, one Anivia coming back after that. Level up time. And he's losing a lot of stuff on his board. Yeah, we have two Anivias. Never mind. So we should just open attack here and, and just do massive work, right? Yeah, two. Let's go, Anivius! It's your time to shine, Anivius! I need you to shine like a whistle. Like the shiniest whistle you've ever seen. Right. I have ways to stop the Daring Poros. I have more Anivius to freeze with. I'm almost always using an Entreat on this. I mean, sorry, a Glimpse on this. And I don't want that Glimpse to give me an Anivia, do I? So let's let's pop this. I need to draw as many cards as possible here. I need to have cards that are very good in hand. Um, again, this deck runs no vile feast, unfortunately. I would have liked to find an avalanche, but it's not necessary. Gluttony is really good. I'm gonna play this turn to get more units on board. That's another rekindler. Alright, we win next turn, I think. We should be fine here. Okay. 
We save all our spell mana, obviously, because we want to be able to do Vengeance plus Harsh Winds. Because he might buff one of the two. 5 HP is just safe enough. If he plays a Jinx, it's an immediate Vengeance before he can level Jinx up. That does nothing. That's very annoying. But we do have Ice Veil Archer for this, so we're not really upset. I gotta think about this, actually. Is there gonna be a Lulu coming down? If there's a Lulu, I have to... No, I never do anything with Lulu here, actually. I just pass here. It's all dead. I need to be above 3 HP. So 4 HP is more than enough to be to be safe. I do this into this. 4 HP is fine. I'm never wasting this because he might have buffs to put something to 4 attack. So, yeah. As long as I'm not within range of um, getting destroyed. Conceding coming? Probably. He knew, he knew I had that card. There it is. There it is! That's what I'm talking about! That's the value I look for! Nice. Still above range. And we have three Anivias. Unfortunately, I can't kill this off with this. Got him, boys! That's what I'm talking about! I don't know how we won that game, but we did. We somehow pulled through. Do you think the other guy made big mistakes towards the end, or did you just get, did you just get really lucky? I don't even think I got that lucky. I I knew how, how, how I had to win that. I had to sacrifice my eggs as the blockers. I had to stay above a certain HP threshold and get to mana 10. That was the only way I could win that. Now, versus this deck is going to be really tough. Um... Freeze is really good. Specifically, fresh Flash Freeze is really good. You do want an early Anivia. I'm going to keep the entire hand, actually. And Vengeance is really good, too. For those early, like, uh, early Threshes, early Nasuses, you just drop. That's a very good draw, by the way. Um, just one Catalyst. I never want to play more than one in this matchup, anyway. Because it's too much tempo loss early on. Okay. Karma Mains know how to play Anivia. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's, it's a very similar play style. You play until mana 10. Except that Nibia can actually do stuff on mana 6 and 7 versus aggro. And Nibia was everywhere in closed beta. Yeah. This is true. I'm hoping he open attacks. Come on, just do it. Just do it. Just open attack. Open attack, brother! I believe in you! Oh my god. Am I this lucky? No, come on. Stop teasing me, Rick. Don't tease me! Just do it! Just do it, Rick! Actually boring. So disappointed. So disappointed. If it's a fight they want. Da -na -na -na. All right, now it's actually a little bit scuffed to play Catalyst here. Um, I need to play blockers for next turn. Oh, that's a really good draw, actually. Never mind. Maybe I can play it now. Hibe with the nine months as well. How's my favorite brown belt today? I'm doing fantastic. I hope you're doing really well too, brother. But I am doing great. Thank you for asking. Thank you for the nine months. Again, Shake Omer. Thank you for the two months. Why freeze bird? Because um, I'm, I'm, if he's attacking with everything, I want to kill off the 4-2 or the other one. This is the one I least care about killing. Because uh, I can't block fierce subs with this. Like, Anivia is going to be a blocker soon, and Anivia is a two-attack unit. What is he even thinking? Like, where in your mind does it say, hey, I should play a Waking Sands right now on defense? I don't understand. I don't understand what people think sometimes, but I'll, that's okay. I'm, I'm not meant to understand, probably. All right, Pat. Wow, he just burned two mana. That's really good. <gasps> no way! Now that's a draw. That is a draw, dude. That is a draw. Come on, play it now. Play it now. Waking Sands now. If you were going to do that misplay last turn, there's no way you're not going to do it this turn. I don't believe you would, you would ever miss out on this Waking Sands. Come on. Do it. I might get Rite of Negation. I might get Rite of Negation. But that's a pretty good Rite of Negation. Because um, these are much more important. Right. Come on. You got this, Avalanche. I believe in you. Rite of Negation. That's fine. Fantastic. I don't mind. He doesn't have a very good attack either way. Okay. Now we drop a Nibia next turn. We are taking damage, but he has no war presence at all. 
He has no board presence, so we can just drop a Nibia here. He does not trade with a Nibia either, which is the best part. A Nibia, your time to shine. No unit he plays except for Nasus trades with a Nibia here. So a Nibia is free to attack as much as it wants. He will drop me down to 1 HP and I'm going to pop the Gluttony. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is a turn he can't stop Gluttony. And then next turn I have uh, Vengeance if I need it. Right, Gluttony. Actually, is this correct? This has to be correct. Is it, is it correct? I need to have I need to have a 4-4 on board. Yeah. Even though I'm losing the egg to Thresh, it's still worth it. I need, the, I need the blocker. I need the blocker. I can always Vengeance the Thresh as well. So it's not that big of a deal. Alright. Now he's going to start looking to level his Thresh. That's fine. If he plays a Nasus, I can just chump block with a 1-1. It's pretty good. No, this is correct. That's really good. 2 out of 6. I'm fine with that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait for the 5-cost card, though. That's the best one. If he has the Strike card with the 5-cost, that's amazing. Come on, come on. I know you have it. Siphoning Strike. Come on, man. What is what is that pull? No, don't! Don't... Oh, my... Okay, he might have a second right of negation. That's a vast possibility. I'm going to pop this now because we're getting so close to mana 10. He wasted an entire attack as well. And if he wants to Vile Feast this, I mean, I really don't care too much about it. All right, we're good. So we're leveling a Nibia next turn. The best part about this is I'm going to Jebate him here. I'm going to pop this first. I'm going to make him waste his mana on, an, like, a, on a really big play. And then we're good to go with this. With the level up. Come on, come on. Do it. Do it. It's fine. I need him to drop Nasus here, I think. I need, I need him to waste his mana so he can't Vile Feast this. Pass. I could have attacked with the Nivea, though, to be fair. Maybe I should have. I don't know. Baiting a sniper. Wait, is he a sniper? Wait, is Rick a sniper, chat? There it is! Easy! Easy! Okay, we can't attack because Nasus actually levels off of that, but we're fine. We're fine. Easy. Easy level up. Double a Nivea on board. Serious guy, thank you for the prime sub, buddy. Thank you very much. I need him to waste his, all his mana so he didn't Vile Feast here. He might have been saving the Vile Feast for a while. <gasps> so good. Holy crap. That's amazing. That is amazing. Wait, what do I need him to commit onto the board with? I don't know. I mean, we're just going to be popping uh, Flash Freeze. or Actually, I kind of like Entreat here. Entreat into Harsh Winds. Actually, you know what we're going to do? This is the play. Let's just... Ah, nah, that's, that's, a, that's a wasted card. I'm gonna actually do this. Because what are the odds of him not having Vile Feast, dude? I don't know, whatever. That, 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 that's a misplay. I, I, I regret it already. Like, odds are extremely high as a Vile Feast. Yo. That's pretty good. Okay, we're, we're, we're doing good here. Um, as long as I have mana for this, I should be good. I went under Harsh Winds for a reason, because he's going to play his uh, 5 cost card now. I'm going to wait for the Siphoning Strike. He has the Siphoning here. He knows he has to. Let's drop this now. Yeah. Now he knows we have Harsh Winds, now he's going to play the Siphoning 100%. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. How did that Nasus doesn't have fear someone level 1? It's a way better matchup for Anivia. It is a way better matchup, yes. I agree. Only problem is I need to find more Vengeances and stuff. This is the second Thresh. Alright. So we have two Anivias on board. We're pushing four damage. Oh, okay, dude. Alright, now we're just going to bait out his denies. Now we just bait every deny he has. I should have attacked first with these guys. It doesn't matter, though. I'm just going to bait denies. I'm good with this. Because um, right of negation is a problem only because of ruination. Flash him? No, no. You always, you always want to get rid of his uh, second right of negation. If you can get rid of right of negation, um, we can play ruination for all the value. Because you're going to play like a second Nasus afterwards, right? We still have... We want to have ruination plus flash freeze as well very often. That's the second Thresh. So Thresh is, 
Thresters are dying nonstop here. Like, our board is ridiculous compared to his board. Okay, so far so good. His Thresh is not leveled. No, it leveled? What? Okay, he's not, he's not the one Thresh, though. It doesn't matter. He only has one Thresh left. It makes no difference here. That's a really big bummer. So if he has if he has Thresh, I can still Flash Freeze and we're okay. He's down to one Thresh. Like, it really... I couldn't care less. What is that? Black Spear, fine. Very easy, uh, Aristocrat. He can't play um, Nasus into, into Siphoning, so we're good. That makes no difference. All right, what champions is he down to? He has a Thresh, so that's that's unfortunate. I'm hoping he drops a Nasus before attacking so I can pop this. But we'll see. That, that drops him down to four, which is really good. By the way, that's the last Thresh he has. So he's not going to be able to tutor out. This is his second, um, his second big dude. So I'm not really mad at this. I'm fine with this. I mean, very easy block. And now the pressure is, what do I harsh woods? I harsh woods this, obviously. Okay. Like, we're looking great. This is, this is fantastic. We definitely block this, just to hurt it. Because we can start pushing, um, Anivia's. He's taking four per turn. We've got a really good open attack. This is where things get complicated. Um, I really want a Ruination here. I think Ruination here is the better play. Because attacking with these does nothing. Let's say I open attack. I'm forced to I'm forced to flash freeze this. This is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's really never mind, never mind. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe I do um actually attack with everything. And uh, flash freeze that, maybe. No, but he's gonna he's gonna block with the thresh on one of these two. Well, yeah, I, I can attack into glimpse. That's pretty good as well. Glimpse the block dude. Yeah, yeah, I can do that for sure. I like that. I like that a lot. I can glimpse the Anivia. That's that's, fan that's fantastic. Love to, love to hear it. That's actually a better play. He's up to three. He dies the next attack after that. We can, um, he's going to play Siphoning Strike very often. If, oh, that's a really good card. Holy crap. Wow, imagine for one second he plays Siphoning on the 3-5 instead. He can't level the dog, it's hilarious. But he's not supposed to level the dog. I'm preventing it. Alright, so we're winning very soon. As long as the dog doesn't level, we're in a good place. Look at this. No vulnerable for you, brother. Nope, not today. You can't have it. You can't choose. We're ending round here every time. So the best part is, I can block with Anivia and play Gluttony instead. He might pull into 3-3. We'll see. We'll see what happens. He pulls this with the 4-3, right? Here's where things get interesting. Do I pop Ruination now? If I pop Ruination, he has 4 mana left, which means he's, he's not the 5. He has enough for that, plus Siphoning Strike. And what am I really afraid of this turn? I want to save my Flash Freeze for next turn every time. I'm going to pop it now. It's good enough to pop. I don't need to, but it, it's a winning it's a winning play. You will lose the game more than not. Why? Why would I? He can't kill off my Anivias. That's really good. I go down to four. I have three blockers. Okay. Why would I flash freeze? Guys, he has two mana left, and I have three blockers. Why would I flash freeze? Why? He has another one. I win an open attack. He has no units to attack with. If he plays units, I have brittle steel. Why? He can't kill me. He has no phase damage except for atrocity. What's he going to kill me with? Like, I just... Oh. Now what, chat? Black Rappler, you need a flash from the... I bring the storm. You were testing you. Oh! Oh, my bad, chat. I didn't I didn't realize you were testing me, chat. My bad. I I I was not aware.
It was your fault you distracted us? Oh, I see. I see. Freeze gives you the perfect win 20 health. Who cares about 20 health, dude? It's okay you passed? Oh, all right, all right. He has two mana, so why not flash freeze to show him he doesn't have any chance? Because then I have no flash freezes in my hand, and if next turn he has something like, um, let's say, for example, say, for example, he plays, he has a way to play three blockers, okay? Bear with me. He has two mana. He can play three blockers with two mana. So, he plays the one mana that summons two units, and then he plays a one mana card. He has three blockers. I open attack next turn with three Anivias. Guess what happens? He plays right of negation, denies all my Anivias. He drops a Nasus. This is like a 17-17. And then he just kills me next turn. Oh, but I have no more Flash Freeze. How do I deal with Nasus number three? Oh, but Grappler! That's so unlikely to happen. Listen. Listen. You can still lose. Yeah, two mana, three blockers. And then he right of negations all of my Anivia attacks. I, I lose. Yeah, I drew one extra, but I didn't know I was going to draw one next turn, chat. How do I know? I might get brick and brick. Two bricks in a row and lose the game. I don't have guaranteed open attack lethal if I flash freeze. And flash freeze is the only thing keeping me alive from Nasus Atrocity for 20. I'd rather keep it in hand. He has like 4 HP or 20 makes no difference. Like it's exactly the same thing almost. Because he's only looking for Atrocity win at that point. That's the only way he can win. Three blockers, only two mana. Yeah. One mana, two blockers, and one mana, one blocker. He has a one mana summon two units card in his deck. It's actually a really good hand. I think I'm going to lose this one, though. This is kind of a bad matchup. I need, I, maybe I should have ran for Avalanche early. That's a really good draw, by the way. It's a very good draw. That's a very good draw, too. Okay. So far, so good. You don't run Ravine? It's not my deck. Unfortunately, this is not my deck. Now, here's what I'm thinking, actually. Believe it or not, I think this is the play. He's going to open attack. I'm going to play Glimpse to bait him to play Nopify so I can play Brittle and kill that. Well, now it's even easier. I'm just going to play this. Now he, he, he's gonna... If he attacks with this, I'm gonna laugh. He doesn't attack. Okay, we're fine. Um, both attack, I think. Fair enough. Man, my hand sucks, though. Like, I'm very, I'm very unhappy with this hand. I'm, 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 I'm pretending I have Avalanche, so he doesn't play his Zed in open attack. Like, if he plays Zed, he can't stop Avalanche and loses the game, so... That's an Avalanche bluff. So now he's gonna play Zed when he has more mana instead. And I can figure out what to do from there. Oh, okay. It was not a Zed, I guess. Rip. I think we lost. I don't think we can win this. That's a very good card against my deck, by the way. Ruin Runner. It's very hard to beat for me. I've got some cool I've got some cool plays. Like for example, what I'm gonna do here is block block into Glimpse Beyond. I'm not gonna play the Brittle Steel here. I think it's a misplay to play it. Because he has so many ways to buff this. It's a very nice card. So I have Anivia into Ruination now. Okay. Anivia into Ruination, Anivia into Vengeance. Anivia will attack every time. And if he blocks Anivia with a 7-4, I get to play Brutal Steel on it. Because this is breaking Spell Shield. That's a big issue for him. I could pass back. But I think just to burn all his mana. But if I pass back, what happens? I don't break Spell Shield. He open attacks, pushes for 7, 8, 9, 10. He's got too many ways to win if I if I don't attack here. Guys, Brutal, after, if he blocks, he's out to 2 HP, you papayas. I have to. I have to attack. I need to break Spell Shield. Someone said purple. <laughs> Alright, I do have a vengeance. Well, I think we're dead now for sure. Now we're now we're almost certainly dead. I, I can't see me beating this. Let me see. Uh he attacks, I block, flash freeze, three, nine damage to face. If I have to vengeance this, I will. I do have Harsh Winds as well. Okay, I don't have Harsh Winds anymore, unfortunately. I think I'm close to dead here. 
Spell shields are really tough for this deck specifically. If I had one more mana, I had Brittle Steel into Entreat into Harsh Winds. Gotta pass. Brittle into Vengeance. Um, not worth it, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to chump block this with a Nivea, I think. And uh, freeze... I mean, sorry, it chump block this with a 3-1 and then freeze everything else, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure yet what the play here is. It's a very weird pre-commit. I guess he's he's gonna play for a plus one to everything. Which is correct, I think. It's gonna have to be harsh wins now. If he has a way to give this overwhelm, I lose. I think to that I will die every time. Oh well. It is what it is. Alright, let's see if he has it. Does he have uh, Absolver? I mean, odds are very high he does. Absolver incoming, I'm aware of that, chat. Don't worry, I know. Oh, he doesn't have it. Wow. Okay, that's very good for us if he doesn't have that. 8 out of 10. Avalanche is uh, very nice. I'm going to attack with this. Breaking Spell Shield is really nice as well. So that's two more Spell Shields gone. Is he going to deny that? He is going to deny it. Wow. Okay. Um, I think I'm screwed. It's a smart deny, I got to say. It is a smart deny. All right, let's pop the spell shields. Uh, I have to play Entreat here, I think. Just to be man efficient. Um, let's see. Do I play Entreat? It's not going to make a difference. I'd rather him burn mana if he's being wasteful here. I'm not going to play the two mana card. That's a very good draw. Alright, he has no spell shield. That's good for us. I mean, it really is. I've got a lot of good things I can do. Now, um, I will probably save my Brittle Steel for when he least expects it. Oh, okay. Well, no saving it now. Um, block. No, wait, not that card. This. The question is, do I block with the Nivea or not? Do I block with the Nivea or not? I think... He has so much mana. Okay, so I'm going to assume he always has Absolver, which means I don't. Because he can give this Overwhelm. Double attack. Right. Dead to double attack. I am. Yes, I'm aware of that. But no, she's not leveled up. It wouldn't have done anything. Yeah, I was dead to double attack. You're right. Rekiller. Well, now we have Rekiller. Rekiller is amazing right now. We can't just open attack because it's not killing anything. It's killing literally two, two pointless units. We'll see what happens here. I still have Avalanche if he, if he like stuns one of the Anivias with Palm. Right of Negation sucks. He already ran one, um, one Deny. So maybe he has Deny and Right. It's possible. Right Copium? Yeah. Now I'm hoping he blocks the 4-4 with this. Oh, he's not going to block anything with it. Interesting. He's not going to block at all. He just wants to keep her alive. That's really good for us. He's thinking whether he can keep Ruin Runner alive as well. I think that's his play. He has a lot of ways to win with this next turn. 3 deny 3 right deck? I, I doubt it. Does he have a grappling hook? I don't know. Also, um, Warlord's Horde destroys me once it levels up. Because he gives him um, Spell Shield on all of his champions. They don't play right. Well, they played one to nice so far. So yeah, they might not be playing right. Okay. Okay. Um, good so far. Avalanche, obviously. 
Wasted block. I need, to, I need to get rid of his deny so I can play Vengeance next turn. Because he's getting spell shield on this. Killing this now is very good. He might have another one in hand. I doubt he does because I think he would have just let this die and got into another one. Unfortunate. Alright, um, he's going to get spell shield for this. I know that for a fact. If he's getting spell shield on this... I think there's no excuse not to glimpse this immediately. I think I have to draw. Because uh, right now, a Vengeance does nothing anyway. Brittle Steel into Vengeance, for example, is like what I would want to find here. Flash Freeze into Vengeance works too. Nice. Actually, Brittle Steel wouldn't have worked. It would have gotten 4 HP. So this was actually the nut card I needed. Because he's looking up. I think he's looking to play um, a Spell Shield into Elusive into win. I think. I do have Ruination. Wait, what's not enough mana? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. There it is. As expected. So the draw really helped here. Hope for no deny. He didn't have it last turn. Let's hope for no top deck deny. Mm. Hell yes! For the fences! Come on! Three and oh boys! Easy YouTube video. <laughs> Alright, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this next swap, so I'm, I'm going to refund you, brother. I don't even care about 5-0. and oh. You can have your money back. Congratulations. Green. You're no longer poor. The cycle is complete. That's very satisfying to win. Those were all really hard games. Like, we did not, we did not have a single easy game, brother. They were all difficult. Make sure nobody's looking. Thank <laughs> you.